I am not kidding when I tell you how shocked I was that this little macrame mirror did so well with our craft party teachers. It's very, very simple to make, super versatile. You can put all kinds of different colors. You could even add like beads or something to so it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make it and I can't wait to see what you create. You're gonna wanna stay to the end of this video so that you can answer a question that I ask. I'm gonna send one of my followers who comments a little crafty care package that includes this thing. Before we begin, we're gonna start out with the materials that we need. You'll need a five inch embroidery hoop, a five inch mirror, and about 50 pieces of macrame cord that are roughly nine inches long a piece. You can use any colors you like, but I'm going for like a cottage core forestry kind of vibe with these ones. You actually don't need the inside of your embroidery hoop, so you can use that for a different project, but the outside we're gonna open just a little bit. That'll make it a lot easier. Then what we're gonna do is called a lark's head knot. This knot is super, super easy to make and we're just gonna do this over and over and over. To do this, you're gonna fold your macrame cord in half and then you're gonna place it underneath the embroidery hoop, take the strands and loop them inside of the loop-de-loop -loop and then pull it tight. For a class, this will take about an hour, hour and 15 minutes, depending upon whether or not you cut your macrame cord in advance. But for me, it took about 20 minutes, which makes it a really, really good craft party length. When you've tied all of your lark's head knots, what you're gonna do is arrange everything so that the strings go outside of the loop, and then you're gonna add a mirror. Once you place the mirror, you're gonna tighten the screw. That way the mirror stays secure. You also get a really nice view of my double chin in this particular shot. Next, we're gonna trim off the edges so they're about three inches long. I'm actually gonna leave the colored strands a little bit longer and cut the beige things shorter, but you can do it however you want. Then we're just gonna take a cheap comb and comb out our tassels. This'll make this look like a lion's mane. Now for my final guide, I'm gonna use an eight inch embroidery hoop, but you could use a pie pan or a plate or something just to make it so that things look nice and neat and tidy. To hang this, all you're gonna do is take a little bit of extra macrame cord and tie a loop along the nut and bolt system, clear away all of the fluff, and you have yourself a beautiful handmade macrame mirror. Now here's my question for you. If you were teaching this class, what color scheme would you go for? Simple and neutral or bright, what colors would you choose?